Good morning and happy vlog Wednesday. So it's actually Sunday the 15th and I am going to vlog today. So usually the day before we start back to school, I do vlog. So that is what I am going to do today. I've got a lot of odds and ends that I need to get done today before we all go back to school tomorrow. So I did work last week. I worked Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We had meetings and all of that, but I was off Friday, but the kids officially start back tomorrow so there's a lot of things that we need to get done today before that happens so right now it's roughly i think 9 30. no it's actually 10 so i'm already <laughs> i'm already behind on the time that it is and i am currently working on september releases so this is a slow process i will design the first sheet which is always h01 which is the horizontal background sheet and then i'll gradually work on the other one so today i'm working on the vertical sheet one so let me turn the camera around and share just a little bit of what i'm doing and the office is completely changed so i want to share that as well so um, if you followed along on my insta stories on saturday you saw me in the office and i just had this moment that i thought I want to rearrange the office. It had just gotten to where it wasn't working anymore. And before I went back to school, I wanted to kind of get everything moved around to see if it works better. So I'm going to share that as well. Okay, before I get started, if you can hear that loud noise, that is our washing machine. Our washing machine may have to be replaced. <sighs> if you have been here for a while, you know that my dishwasher was doing that about two years ago. Now my washing machine is doing that. So this is what I'm doing right now. I'm doing a variety of things. This is what the office looks like. So I have moved a lot of stuff around. If you watch my vlog Wednesday, if you've not seen my vlog from Wednesday, I'll leave that in a card above. You might not know that it's changed, but it has. So I'm gonna just take you through here. Once again, I told y'all I think on Wednesday that you know this space changes pretty often because as my shop grows i need to you know be more efficient and more effective in my approaches so i'm trying different setups so over here this area is going to have to be addressed pretty soon so i've ordered some more of these sterilite pieces those are holding right now all of my washi tapes um it's got the happy halloween washi the black friday washi the um i've got four designs in there that i don't know when i'm releasing those so all that is there and i've got an overflow down here and then up here this is what i've decided to do so if you watched wednesday these cubbies are my overflow oops I knocked over something those are my overflow of sticker sheets so that was over here and I'm going to be adding at least one or two. I've ordered one more of these shelves. So they, this is in my Amazon storefront. So if you've not seen that, I have an Amazon storefront now. So these are actually shoe cubbies that I use for extra stickers. So I do not do all of my printing and cutting before things go on sale. But the way I do it is when I'm filling an order, if I have to cut one sheet of something, I will cut four or six, depending on if I think it's gonna be something that's gonna sell a lot. So this one's been released for several months. This is Book Party. So if somebody was to come in and order this one and I didn't have it cut, printed and cut, I would probably only make two of these because it's a release that I think was released in April or May, but new releases I normally do four or six. So this makes it easier for me to have overflow. So if somebody wants like above the clouds, I have a nice stack and hopefully I have an extra that I can pull from and not have to print and cut. So that is one side. And then over here is the other. And here comes Armani. He's got to go pee pee. Poor thing. Come on, Armani. Okay, so I'm sure you're going to hear Armani in just a second, and I'm sure you can hear my washer still. So, and then this is the other side. So, I need to, once I get that third one, I am going to end up getting a fourth. So, I'll have two sitting on this side and then two sitting on the other side. Um, and then that's those here. So, I will reorganize those once I get that third one in this, this week, hopefully. Now, here, if you're wondering what these are, these are all of the... No, these are my oops bags. So, I have three oops containers so i always have these on hand and those are in the shop under extra and then these are the planner covers so these are the ones that are already on there these are the ones that will go on next oh i need to order some of those today and then these are the ones that i haven't decided yet so that is that area then over here 
if I move my desk, my desk was right here and it got really hard to kind of walk around the desk and get everything filled. So now my desk is on the back wall and I have a lot of walking space unless right now like i got all this stuff i'm trying to go through so it just makes it easier everything's lined up here my my bluetooth does not work great with my portraits so i actually have it plugged in to my laptop so that's why everything needs to be together and the portraits need to have light because to read the registration marks light has to be shining so that's why i have them in front of the window and then over here is where I've just got, I'm using this as a little extras thing right now. I'm filling orders. So this is all September, no, August releases. I got my planner here. And then this is what I was telling you I was working on September releases. So these are the ones I'm working on next. And right now you're going to get a sneak peek real fast. This is the 50th anniversary sheet for Walt Disney World. So this is going to get a kit. So I went ahead and got the first page of that done. And so I'm working on V01 for this. So right now I've got these done. So this is nuts about fall. So I've got the H01 done for that. And then I got the V01 done this morning. And then the same thing for a haunted mansion. So I've got six kits. I'm trying to get that second sheet done for today. So I've got two done. I'm about to work on my third and then I have three more over there so it is a process but um one that goes pretty smoothly once you get these background boxes done so what happens with these this is book lover so with these i have to create some of them so i actually make some of them and then some of them i just use the digital papers that come so once you get this sheet done normally it's a pretty quick process and then this is my desk area so it's you know it's pretty much the same i have moved a few things around and i know this is my desk but really i don't use this as my desk it just is a holding station right now for things um so i like to use that desk that desk is on my amazon storefront and it is pricey i think it was like 250 dollars and i would love to be able to get another one of these to put all of these portraits on but see, here's the great thing. So if I want to stand up, the desk moves up and down. So yes, I would like to get another one of those eventually. Move it there and then move that over here. And then last but not least is my basically order filling station here. And I know it looks like a mess right now because I'm in the process of doing several things. And I was able to stick that locker underneath there works perfect that holds like extra washi and washi cards and it's got printer paper and all of that in there i'd love to get another one and put it on the other side but we will see so back here all of this was sitting on that desk behind me and i thought why am i not just pulling that up because it's really an eyesore when it was sitting over there I'm like, why am I not just moving that and putting that on the back side of this table? So when I'm doing filming, that's what this black thing is here. When I'm doing filming and I need to pull something to film or it's all right there. So all of these, these are not the ones that I'm using currently. These are all of my extra notebooks. I've got the A5s here that I need to look at. I've got extra three subject notebooks. I've got verticals. I've got daily duos. I've got my sticker binder that I'm needing to work on. I've got extra sheets. So just about anything that I might need to pull from is right there for sticker use. And then I'm in the process of filling orders and I am cutting some of the monthlies to go in those kits. So that is currently what I'm doing. So I'm going to get that kind of set up and ready to go. I'm hoping I can get, so I got 24 orders done already and now I'm working on 25 and 26. And I'm actually ahead of schedule because normally I will not start any order filling until the shop closes. But since I'm going back to teaching tomorrow, I started on Friday. So I have 24 orders done. So that's, that's really good. And now I'm getting 25 and 26 and I want to get the rest of those done over there.
I am back and it is 2.15. So y'all, I have not filmed in the last couple of hours because I've literally been doing the same thing since I last gave y'all an update. So I am kind of winding it down for right now with the orders. I got all of those sheets cut, um, created and cut for September, that second sheet. I had the horizontal background sheet done. I wanted to get the vertical sheet done today. So I got all six of those done. So that is finished for today. And now I'm just working on orders. We are going to go out to eat today um, and get some groceries. We need to get a few groceries for lunches for this week and breakfast and all of that. So I will do a little grocery haul or share with you what I'm going to take for lunches this week um, when we get that this afternoon. So I have 28 orders filled and you might be wondering why I'm staring to the side. And that is because that is where my little accordion file is. So I got the 24 moved and I'm on 20, I'm working on 29 and 30 right now. So if I was to get 29 and 30 done, that would be a good stopping point for today. So that is my goal is to get 30 done. I think I have 80 orders this time around. So woohoo, that's more than I've had in the past. So if I could get 30 done today, that would be great. My goal is to have everything done and out by next weekend. So this is all round one. So everything that was placed on the first day, I went ahead and printed all of those printing, those packing slips, and that is what I'm working on. So once round one gets done and I get all of these mailed out, then I'll print the next set of packing slips. So I got my kids first day of school, little things that they hold up printed out. I'll share that with you. If you're a part of the golden circle, that is free on there. I've uploaded that for y'all to use. So these I have had for a long period of time and I got these off of Etsy. If they still have them, I will link them. And this is, why is that? Oh Lord, I didn't know. Look at that. I've got these sheets in here. I need to move that. I don't even need those. I don't know why that's even in here. Okay. So these are all about me books. So I do these every single year with the kids the day before they go back to school. So here's Derek. So I'll just share a little bit with you. So this is what the inside looks like. So, and I don't think it goes all the way through 12th grade. I can't remember how many sheets are in here. So this was Derek at four. So he's got a picture and it's got like height, weight, shoe size, the grade level. My favorite time, what's it say? My favorite thing about myself. Um, then like my favorites. So, and it's great to see how they change every single year. So this is just something that goes in their memory boxes. If you've not seen my memory, uh, my school memories video, I shared that in May this year. I will link that in a card above. So this is kindergarten. Look at little Derek. He needed a haircut there. First grade. And I need to get his second grade picture put in there. And now he's going to be in third grade. So I need to do that today as well. So over here is Kate. So Kate's going to be in seventh grade. So is this the... I think I... Did I just start in preschool? I guess I didn't do preschool for her. I just did kindergarten, didn't I? Yeah. So this is kindergarten. Look how little she is. She actually has a dress on. She hates dresses now. First grade. Second grade. Third grade. Fourth. And fifth. And sixth. So, and now we are working on 7th. So this is what I will do this afternoon as well. So I'll get both of these done and get those put away. And then we will move to getting lunch spots. So that's what I'm going to do this afternoon. I've got both of those sitting out, so don't forget to do those. And I've got their first day of school things printed. Let me share those with you. So I have their first day of school little things that they hold up ready to go. So these are 
on our or in our Facebook group. So there is a PDF file that has pre-K all the way through 12th grade. You just download it and you can print them all or print the ones that you need. So Derek is going in third grade and then Kate is going in seventh grade. So those are ready. So I am going to stop here, go get dressed and hopefully finish those two orders. And then we're gonna go eat, get groceries and I will check back in with you. So it's now roughly 7.20 and we're about to start the whole evening routine. So we just got home, not even like 10 minutes ago. We went and ate and went to Academy to get Kate some shoes and Derek some soccer stuff and then ran to Kroger. They didn't have a lot of stuff left, you guys. It was like the, the shelves were wiped clean. So we did get enough stuff for lunches for the kids and some breakfast stuff. So now I'm just gonna kinda get some things together for tomorrow. Ace man? Hey Ace. I don't know what Ace is doing, but he is following me around. So my backpack is ready. You probably saw that Monday, that in Monday's video. So that is my teacher backpack. So I have to put my wallet back in there because I had that in my fanny pack and then I just put my planner back in there. So that is ready to go besides putting my wallet in there and then I'm gonna grab my laptop to take with me. And then in here in the kitchen, so I've gotta get the table finished up here, get all this stuff put up. That's Most of that's going in my work bag. So this is my Stony Clover Lane fanny pack. So this is my Stony Clover Lane fanny pack in Noir. And I've been carrying, this is what I took today to go and eat. So I've gotta take my wallet out and put that back in my backpack and this needs to put, put in the checking account and I think that's about it. So this will go back in the office. And I do like to keep a few things in there. Like I'll keep the chapstick and the hand sanitizer for when I use that. So the kids just helped each other and got the living room all put together. So y'all, the living room is pretty minimal right now, which I like. I'm liking the fact that we don't have things crammed on these shelves. Super easy to pick up. So this room is ready for school. There, there, just got out of the bathtub. And now we're gonna get his clothes and things out. So in here, I've got his backpack ready to go. Really, it's not ready to go. I have to get his, I put his name on his backpack. So this is the backpack that he chose for this year. It is an Under Armour camo backpack. And I don't, I think I threw the tag away. Here it is. It was the Hustle Sport. And the funny thing is my nephew ended up getting the same backpack, but his was, um, this is like blue and red and it's a gray camo and we didn't even talk about it. She shared a picture and I was like, oh look, we got the same backpacks. So that's Derek's backpack and then his lunch box. <laughs> so this is the exact lunch box that he had last year that he didn't end up having the last day. You guys, that child in his lunch box, his lunch box could have told a story last year to be honest. It got left on the bus, it got left at school, it got drugged through rocks. I mean, it, it was used and loved this is a really good lunch box the last day of school he left it at school i'm like i'm not going back to get it so i just got in the same lunch box again because it is really nice it is a good size and it holds quite a few things so that is his now for my lunch box for my lunch box i didn't get myself a new one this year i'm using the same one i did last year I was in Beer Bradley on vacation and I thought, I'm just not gonna get myself a lunch box. I don't wanna spend the money on it. So this is the one I've used uh, last year and I've used it several different years. Look, I mean, I do need to wipe it out. So there's my lunch box and we'll go get Kate's. And y'all know, I like to take a box of these to keep at work. So I will take these with me tomorrow because I don't eat those in the morning here. I will eat that once I get to school. And y'all, I don't even know what I'm gonna do for lunch or if I'm just gonna take, I don't know. Okay, and then I went and got Kate's lunch box. So this is Kate's lunch box. Can you tell there's, <laughs> I didn't realize we all had these black based lunch boxes this year, but we do. So this is Kate's, it's a Vera Bradley one. She had the same type last year. She just wanted black because it matches everything. And we'll just have to put her name on the back. So lunch boxes are ready and my clothes are getting finished in the 
dryer. I have to wear my school t-shirt tomorrow and I'll probably wear jeans. I'm not sure. I don't know. I guess we'll see what I feel like in the morning. But, and I got some of this. Dr. Teal's Epsom salt. I like to use this about once a week. Put it in my bathtub. Really nice. This goes in the bathroom. So we're going to take these two things in the bathroom and close out this vlog. Oh, and I got a few things I've got to do in here. So that's my husband's laundry. He'll take care of that. I need to get all of that put in the closet. And I've got more clothes in my tub. So I got all of my clothes put up last night. And then we did more laundry today. So all that needs to be put up as well. So we are set and ready to go for the school year. So I'm going to end the vlog right here. Ooh, look at my hair. It looks like a mess. It is hair washing night since I have the first day of school tomorrow. So the common question for today is going to be, are you looking forward to back to school if it applies to you? Let me know. Are you or your kids or your grandkids looking forward to back to school? Let's get a conversation going about that in the comments below. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.